The biggest challenge is food. We think about the environment is very important. Climate change uh, causing the or environment change, but thinking about people seldom consider food as the most dominant um, environmental factors to human biology. You're thinking about um, the, the deterioration of air quality can cause the alarm, but the deterioration of food quality doesn't seem to cause any alarm at all. And for example, the cough caused by the bad air will make people link uh, the bad air with the air quality, with the health issue. But very few people take their body response to food seriously. We don't know at all. And uh, that is the most dangerous part. And people listen more to all the information by the reading, but they don't completely ignore what the body tells them. So in a sense, we really know very little about food, very little how the body responds to food. Of course, we, we have a good nutrition science and we have toxicology science, but uh, we know that food, once processed, it interacts with the body very differently. A piece of meat, when you eat raw, you are ape, but once it's cooked, it has the power to turn you into a human being. Without much change in nutrient, major nu macronutrient composition. So that science to explain that is not insufficient. And the food scientists so far has been working hard to develop new technology to process food, to preserve food. So the food may look similar. Um, or taste similar to what we been make um, been making in the kitchen, but it seems it's processed differently. The interaction with the body should be very different, and there is no even science to explain that. And we food scientists pre busy preparing, uh, researching how to prepare food in a new way, and once the food is pro prepared, we run away. It is that nutritionists and toxicologists who know nothing about what we did to the food stand up to say, to explain about food. They are the spokesperson. So you see there was a huge gap uh, in the understanding of food. And this really, to some extent, um, it is really not an exaggeration to say that human beings really don't know exactly what we are eating. And there's really nothing more dangerous than for a species, for the species of Homo sapiens, um, for the survival of this species without knowing exactly what we are eating. I don't really see any, anything more urgent than that.